Hey guys, I'm Mallory Varner with GSG. I'm the Vinyl Decorating Segment Manager. And this is Make It on Monday with Mallory. So if you haven't been following the series, you definitely want to go back and check out some of the videos we've done so far. We've had a lot of fun and definitely tried some different products and showed you some really fun different little crafts and projects you can do. So um, hopefully we're getting your creativity juices flowing and you're making some cool stuff. I love when y'all tag me in your projects and also when you comment and tell me what do you want to see. So one of these that I get, um, I got a couple emails about, thank you so much for emailing me and suggesting a product to do, was the new Oracle 851 Glitter Adhesive Vinyl. Um, everyone loves it. This is, you know, one of the ones that I've used. We are making something for St. Patty's Day. That's why I got my green hat on. I know it's early, but just kind of giving you ideas before the holiday all of a sudden is here. All right, so everyone loves this. It's great. What I get the most questions about is not necessarily about the colors and how to use it. It really is when I mentioned in one video um, last year on, I think it was our Creating the Holiday Spirit series actually, was how you can use this clear and laminate it over um, another vinyl, like 651. So you can use it by itself. You can um, cut out, like I'm gonna do today, cut out 651 green and then put the glitter over it or you can go ahead and laminate it over it. So what I did is I cut two sheets of, of this. I did one of this and one of 651 green because there wasn't a green in the glitter that I wanted. So I wanted this color for this project. So what I did is I laminated over it and then I send it through my cutter. I definitely had to up my pressure, so make sure you do that. I might have ruined a sheet or two trying to figure it out, so you wanna test it. Um, so I laminated over it. So I, what I do is I line up the edges, and I use my squeegee and work it down. So it basically laminates over that sheet and then send it through my cutter. So it's already done. I didn't have to do what I'm gonna do on this, but I'm gonna show you both ways. All right, so I have a couple of these mugs, which what I like to do with the mugs, um, I know everybody will say, well, drink, of course, but what I like to do for my kids' teachers at this time, because let's be honest, it's getting towards the end of the year. Teachers are having a little bit of a struggle. I mean, we live with our kids, we know what they're going through. They just get that times 20. So you want to go ahead and use your mask, All right, so I have it ready to go. I'm gonna make sure that you have cleaned your substrate so that it adheres beautifully. I say it all the time, and I know people get sick of me saying it, but let's be honest, when you buy stuff at the store, people have touched it. You wanna make sure that is done. All right, so what I was gonna say about the teacher, sorry, I got a little distracted there. Um, I like to do this for them just as a little special prize, um, you know, this time of year. And I just fill it up with some candy, um, or some cute pens, well, notepads, something like that. Just something a little bit different to give them. Um, you know, they get presents, Christmas, um, you know, and then Teacher Appreciation Week. And then that's, oh, I didn't squeegee that one good with that curve. Um, so I like to do, you know, I love gifts when you don't expect it. So. I think that that's why I like to do that for teachers. All right, so once you're done, you just wanna kinda of squeegee it back down, make sure it's there good. All right, I got a couple of little shamrocks. With these, sometimes what I like to do, y'all have seen it on other videos, I know. Um, instead of getting the application tape and even worrying about that, because I like to just kinda of place it where I want it, I'm putting just these little extra gold shamrocks there. Because who doesn't want more glitter on their cup? No, I definitely do. Especially for St. Patty's Day, it's such a fun holiday. Last week we did a Mardi Gras video, which I love. All right, so one cup down. So you see how I did that one? Now I'm actually going to use a different mask with this. I'm gonna use masking tape. Um, and then also the clear one to show you kind of how, you don't have to use the same tape when you're doing different projects. All right, so for this one I'm gonna mix and match these application tapes like I said. I'm gonna use the mask one. 
first I'm going to put on, one thing I do love about the mask, I'm not gonna lie, the masking tape looking one is that you can just rip it. So if you're like me, I'm always looking for my scissors. Okay, so this one, I think I'm gonna put it on this side. All right, I am gonna go ahead and put on the gold glitter that I showed you earlier. Which remember is Orichal 851. I just had already weeded it. I did not cut it in mirror. And then put the mask on. Make it a mess for everyone in here today. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and do Orichal 651 in the green. And that one really liked backing. Okay, so then you can leave it like this if you want, you know, to just intermix the different types. You know, sometimes you want just a little bit of bling and just the solid gloss color of the 651, which looks adorable. When you want to put the clear 851 glitter on top, so I just have that done, cut in the same, and I'm just gonna line it up myself instead of laminating it like I did for the last cup. So you can just put it over it. When it's something like this, this way, one, if it's not perfect, it's, you know, it doesn't have to be, it's kind of just a cute little extra on top. Um, or you can line it up easily. This is something really easy to line up. Um, being this big, it's not um, as difficult as this whole word on the last one, so. All right, and there you go. So two different ways to be able to use that over the 651. I love this new Oracle 851. I've used it a ton, and these are just adorable and made some dollar mugs. Really cute, personalized, and great for the upcoming holiday. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day today and you're enjoying this series with Make It on Monday with Mallory. You know I love it. So please tag me in any of your projects with Orcal 851 and um, or where you mix and mingle where I did 651 and 851. And then also comment below, what do you want me to do? I love getting an email where it asks me, you know, how to use this with the laminating and the different colors and what to do with it. So love suggestions. I want to hear from you. Comment below, email me. Definitely follow us on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube so you can see all of our videos. We do a lot of them here at GSG and we love when customers watch it and give us feedback, ask us questions, anything like that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next Monday. Thank you for watching. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest to see more of my vinyl decorating tips and projects. I would love to see what you're working on, so make sure and tag me. See you next time.